Welcome to this jewellery design course using ZBrush. So in this section, which is section three, what we're going to be doing is looking at creating this ring here. So you can see we've got lots of swirls and patterns going on on top of our base ring. And we're actually going to use insert brushes. We're going to create a brush where we can just go around this shape and it will form these shapes. So we're going to be creating a brush in this session section and using quite a few different techniques to name a few. We're going to create a simple insert brush. We're going to insert a cube, insert and turn it into a curve on surface brush. So we're going to use a cube as a base to create this. So we're going to be using quite a few brush settings inside this section. Um, we'll be building it up as well because we'll be looking at the curve fall off. When I say curve fall off, this is actually a square, this. Uh, but I've created a fall off so that it gets smaller at the ends to give you this kind of scroll look. And I'll also be putting another pattern in on top. So you can see it's actually a different pattern here. And if you combine two, you're going to get this kind of result, which looks pretty cool. And then finally, we'll be creating that as um, a single mesh as well inside of ZBrush. So very powerful stuff because we also um, going to look at creating that curved brush. We're also going to look at the depth, so applying different depths for that brush as well. And also, our deleting the surface, we applied the brush and creating and its effects. So we're going to look at how we can sort of use a surface and delete a surface and look at the effects of that as well. So this section, section three, is all about uh, brush control inside of ZBrush. So it's quite a good one to start with. Uh, we're also going to look at using arrays. Now arrays are when we do one thing and we get it to spin around a radial axis point to give you this amazing effect and uh, you're going to be shocked at uh, the amount of detail that you can get, well you know the amount of different patterns and things you can get using arrays, pretty powerful thing. Um, we're going to show, I'm going to show you basic box modeling with um, the Z modeler brush as well. Uh, we're also going to look at hand re topology brush method for creating brushes. Uh, we're going to add, show you how to add UVs to a curve and surface brush so we can map each of the curves and also uh, some uh, creating an insert brush. We're going to create the turtle and we're going to scale it with a gizmo trick that I know of as well. So there's a ton of things. If this doesn't make sense to you, um, just have a look at this image and you know we'll be doing this basically so if you like it you'll be like yep I really like that and I want to be able to do it so I'll take that course. Uh, my course here is uh, got over 350 370 videos it's um, hours and hours probably about 80 90 hours worth of um, video content there with uh, at the moment 30 main sections with about three or four other sections like workshops and stuff so absolutely huge course check it out this is section three of the jewelry design in zbrush course check out the link in the description below